up now, though, it is at one for the home crowd. Piggy French and uh, Quarry Crest Echo, owned by Jane McGiven. This a horse that was 11th here last year, and that uh, started off a very good 2017 season for this combination. They went to Tattersall's, where they were second in the uh, long format three-star. That earned them a senior call-up for the uh, European Championships in Stragom. Competing as an individual, and uh, had 20 penalties cross country, but still will have taken a lot from it. And one I know a lot of people are watching closely for 2018. So Piggy French, Quarry Crest Echo, what can they do to challenge the lead of Laura Collett and Mr. Bass? Yeah, so she's, um, Piggy's off to a good start here. Um, average marks seven. The horse maybe could take a bit more weight behind some of the works a little bit towards the forehand. But it's tidy, it's nicely forward thinking. Maybe a little unsteady in the contact. Nice there, really quite like that. Maybe could have seen a little bit more of a return. Judge at C gave that a higher mark. I would have been on the same mark. Definitely has um, some quality in the extensions here. And looks really good through the frame when, when she's riding really forward. Yeah, nice transition. Down to the walk there. Eights and sevens for the extended trot. And a clean, clean, clear rhythm in the walk. Could have maybe taken a little bit more weight behind, but still correct in the port pirouette. Regularity good in the, um, the steps here. Rider just pushed the walk a little bit more forward there, and the horse responded nicely, just to lengthen the frame. She's got seven fives and seven in the port pirouette, which is good. Extended walk, seven five, seven, six five, and I would have gone definitely seven, maybe seven five. Could show a little more right flexion, that's better now. Side hind leg could have just stepped a bit more, um, but still tidy. Yeah, not quite as good as the other one. Transition was to canter was clean and um, correct. Also looks easy in the canter. Maybe could just balance a little bit more weight behind. Yeah, clean change, correct clean change. Actually quite expressive. Two eights and a seven five, so well deserved there. That's actually helped her. Um, that's pushed her down with a two in front of her score. Well ridden in the extension. You know, she sits so well, this girl. She looks, well, lady, I suppose. Maybe she's not a girl anymore, but uh, this lady. And she, she sits so well, she looks so tidy, and she uses her upper body well to keep the horse in balance. The horse could quite easy just drop low in front and she does everything well here. Good timing from the rider and was rewarded with a clean change. 8-5 for the serpentine from the sea judge, that's good. And consistent marks um, in the um, blind change. This is really good judging, I've got to say, from this panel. Now they've been really, really consistent. So th that was a, a real example of a test that had a lot of very consistent marks. Yeah. Lots of sevens, lots yeah. of 7.5s, the odd eight crept in, and that actually is a really consistent score. Yeah, I mean, one pirouette was probably the lowest mark, uh, the second pirouette, but that was just a tidy round. Can't Piggy, congratulations. You're into the top three. That was fantastic. Yeah, that was. I was really, really pleased with them, actually, because um, 
he's he's come on in this phase and he's just a horse that's just got stronger and stronger over the years and and he's getting quite consistent and and he likes an atmosphere like this so um really chuffed and we were just talking off camera that your hopes are for a double clear as fast as you can how realistic is that he's a really good horse um i've just got to do my job um and hopefully not swim. Last year we swam and she was a great horse too and going well. So we just need a bit of luck on our side, but I'm excited to be giving it a go. And all feeling good. Everyone's in the right zone, you think? At the moment, we all seem to be in the right zone. He's in, he's in very good form. He looks a picture. He's, he's fit and well, so fingers crossed. Yes, because a lot of people have been talking about not coming out early enough. It's the middle of May, not doing many events. But you guys seem relaxed and on form. Yeah, I chose a few events early on that didn't get cancelled. So um, his plans of runs this spring has actually not been interrupted with the weather, which is probably one of the only one, really. Um, so I'm just hoping he's, he's run really well. He's ready for this. He ran well last year. He's got a year more experience on him from last year. So I'm confident to be giving it a good go. OK, well, we wish you very best of luck, Piggy. Thank you very much. Yeah. Piggy French coming next. Quarry Crest Echo, 27.3. Of the four, we have one from seven at CIC, three star level without penalties for Quarry Crest Echo, one from six for King de Brio, five from 10 for Sandman, 12 from 13 for our leader, Mr. Bass. Question mark over the next two, uh, happy to be proved wrong, but Quarry Crest Echo now, afternoon will be their big strength. Well, they are only five seconds behind our leaders in the show jumping at the moment. That would be taking into account the cross country. That is nothing here at Chatsworth. Dale. That's nothing, but one pole down and that becomes 15 seconds. Let's keep that in mind. Keep the poles up and Piggy's right in with a shout. So far, so, so far, good. Re really good. Good lines, good rhythm. Uh, really under control so far. An ultimate line for Piggy French. Corey of course, Crestet. it's really trying for her. The time looks okay. She's just got the last to jump. She can't waste any time, but she's all right at the moment. 27.3, she's going to put the pressure on and she clears it. Piggy French, Quarry Crest Echo, music rings out here at Chatsworth. 27.3, they were 11th here last year. That is a big performance from this young lady. Uh, well, most controlled, most knew what they were doing from start to finish. Piggy French, our leader going into the cross country, how does it feel? I'm not used to this position, so it's new to me. And um, it's only the second DRM I've done, and I've, I've always wanted to be involved in the classes, so it's very exciting. Very exciting. How are you going to go in the cross country? Are you, are you going to really go for it? Absolutely. Um, you don't get this opportunity very often. He's a fabulous horse and he jumped his socks off today. I mean, he always does jump beautifully, and, but I quite often do have a rail down on him. And I've been quite angry with myself today before I've even started to think, come on, you don't get these chances very often at competitions like this. So pull your finger out your backside and make something happen. And he was fantastic. Um, in here today and I'm just going to go and do my best but give it a real go for. You said to me before this round, I think I'm going to have a rail down. I'm not sure which one it's going to be though and you didn't have any. <laughs> no, and I shouldn't have rails on him. He's the best jumper I've got in my yard and you know, you saw him today. He looks absolutely fantastic and he always jumps like that but just finds one and it's been annoying me so um, it's just a great relief to jump around that he, I know he can do and um, hopefully I'll just, you know, do my my best and d do the horse justice and give it a real go. Okay, well, we wish you very best of luck. It's battle of the ladies at the top of the table. All remains to be seen this afternoon. Watch this space. But away goes our leader after the show, jumping Piggy French and Quarry Crest Echo. Five, four, three, two, one, go. <laughs> Owned by Jane McGibbon, 27.3 this combination coming forward to this final phase. They were fourth after dressage, moved up courtesy of that clear round over Die Body's track, but Piggy French, Quarry Crest Echo. Sam, you said they've set off in a beautiful rhythm. That's continued. Yeah, and just look at Piggy's hands. You know, she's not, there's no scrubbing. It's not messy. It's all just about rhythm with the horse. You know, it, it's in the balance, so she doesn't have to interfere. Okay. 
So here we go, Piggy French, Quarry Crest, Echo at the coffin, really nicely through there, really quickly and efficiently away. Again, just a little wake-up call there, just to keep the attention. We're going into the water. We've got these two big tables. Three strides apart is quite a tight three strides. And 11 seconds up on the clock. That is the fastest we have seen so far. Well, like Roz Cantor, like Izzy Taylor, she is sitting there motionless with a really soft pair of hands and she's letting the horse get on with it. And she has the horse so well schooled and so well trained that it is just looking like she's riding at home in her arena. There's nothing crazy, nothing scary. It's just very, very clinical from one of the best riders you will see on the circuit, Piggy French. So let's just take a look for a moment at the top three. Horse West Stella Rebound, 32.1. Call Me Maggie May, 34.8. Mr. Bass, 35.7. Piggy French, Quarry Crest Echo, 27.3. They've 12 seconds, 11 seconds in hand, I should say, to go ahead of Horse West Stella Rebound. Yeah, it's just her one moment that she's had there on the course coming down the hill where they had a slight disagreement on which stride they were going to go on and Piggy just having to, to go to the handbrake a little bit later than she would have wanted. But what, what a star studded, what a female top seven places you've got there. Absolutely, we had an all-female podium back in Wiesbaden in leg two 2017, but our first female winner, Nicole, if I'm not mistaken, was Gemma Tattersall here last year in this exact leg. We had a female one two here last year with Bettina Hoy. Yeah, one two, we have a female one two, but we're looking, we've got a one two, uh, three and beyond at the moment. And it's gonna stay that way. Here's Piggy, she gets the four strides. It's gonna be that tight three again. Quarry, Crest, Echo, they are looking quick. This is, is coming down to this now, folks. They can get ahead of Sarah Ennis. She needed to be taking off at the Voltaire Design sit tight with 58 seconds on the clock. She took off with 57 seconds on the clock. She is on course to take her first ever Event Rider Masters title. Now it comes down. This is a real test of, of a rider's metal. As you turn to this last corner, we see if she swings out. I don't think she'll swing out. I think she'll jump this, she'll stay straight, and then she'll start turning left. Yeah, she's not swung out. She started turning left. It makes it more difficult. Poetry. Really good. Piggy French, Quarry Crest Echo. She's 11 seconds in hand to go ahead of Sarah Ennis. Horsewear Stella rebound at the She's top gonna of the do podium. This easily. She's going to do it. She just needs to clear the last 27.3. She's going to take a pull very sensibly to the final fence. She does so, but she can push on through the finish. She's going to make that optimum time, I think, as well. Marginally, one second, two seconds over. But my word, three seconds in total, 1.2 time penalties, 28.5, Piggy French, Watch Quarry Crest Echo, an all-female podium here at Chatsworth, led for Great Britain. The winner here at Chatsworth for the 2018 first leg of the Event Rider Masters, Piggy French. Piggy, I don't even have a question for you. Your smile says it all. How are you feeling? Oh, I'm just so over the moon, to be honest. I, I sat in the wagon before I set off and was like, come on, just try and do something useful. I've not, um, he's a fabulous horse. Um, he's the most beautiful horse. He's a fantastic jumper. Jane McGiven, who is a wonderful owner of mine, has been so supportive. And she deserves, and the horse deserves, a really great day like this. And it means so much to us as riders for a day like this in the sport. And, and a class like this, which is so fun and fantastic. Piggy, the horse deserves it, the owner deserves it, but you deserve it too, you know? It's great to see you back here. Oh, thank you ever so much. The winner of the Event Rider Masters, leg one here at Chatsworth. You know it, riding Quarry Crest Echo, representing Great Britain and ridden by Piggy French. Well, Piggy French <laughs> getting well and truly showered in champagne.